Goku succeeded in defeating Frieza on planet Namek by destroying him with an angry Kamehameha after lending some of his life form to Frieza. He betrayed him once again and Goku destroyed him. But Goku got off the planet somehow after Namek. What if though? What if Goku didn't survive? We're gonna go into this and try to see how that would happen in Sparking Zero. And the way that I'm gonna do this in Sparking Zero is that when Trunks arrives to uh, you know, tell them that Frieza is coming back and all that good stuff, it's gonna be an even tougher battle than we thought. Because since Goku has died, therefore Trunks wouldn't need to come back because he wouldn't see a reason to because yeah, the, the future would be skewed for Trunks, most importantly. I know everybody else would be skewed, but Trunks, most importantly, because that would kind of be crucial to him coming back. Because if Goku doesn't come back, then he doesn't come back because his main reason was to come back for Goku. And so, with that being said, said Trunks does not appear in this part of the arc. Trunks has lost to the androids in the other saga due to the fact that he could not get here and he had no reason to come. So, the idea never came to bring him back from the future or to tell the future or to tell the past it was going to happen in this case frieza does make his way to earth and so we're gonna have vegeta piccolo and gohan face off against frieza they're the only ones who can defeat him at this point now this is gonna be a very very tough battle because we have king cold and mecha frieza and so with Trunks defeating Mecha Frieza and King Cold so easily, this was kind of interesting because we never quite, never quite got to see the power of Mecha Frieza and, and King Cold. I mean, of course we can kind of gauge it, but we never got to really see it. We saw the little spear, you know, the bomb or the ball that, you know, Frieza threw to try and stop Trunks. We saw a little bit, we didn't see a lot. So this would be the good chance again to showcase the Sparky Zero. How powerful Mecha Frieza could really, really be. And so in this, this series or this part of What If, we're going to have a 3v1 battle versus Frieza. In this, Frieza is going to definitely take the upper hand by far. Like almost immediately taking out uh, Piccolo and who's the other person I named? Um, and Gohan. Gohan, though, we're going to save him for later. Vegeta is the last one here. This is actually great way to do this because now this is vegeta's chance to defeat the killer of all saiyans once and for all something goku failed to do right so with that being said because goku died and all that stuff vegeta now is the one to step up and defeat the saiyans saiyans and this is when he achieves his super saiyan uh transformation rather than when he did it in the android 19 saga he achieves it here by trying to achieve what he did on Namek he sees Krillin and we basically reenact the same thing we did on Namek because he realizes he was close on Namek but he just didn't get quite there so he tells Krillin hey if you blast me one big time this time oh yeah I'm gonna get that transformation this time of course there's a there's a struggle Krillin doesn't want to do it Vegeta he, he ends up doing it Vegeta ends up taking back taking a beating Gohan is defending Frieza right now while Vegeta is down trying to recover and uh they give Vegeta a sensu bean um, that, that that Boma went to go freaking get from Korin miles away, miles away, and he got the, he got him a sense of being. Goku, Gohan is now on the brink of death, and Vegeta comes out. Step aside, young boy. Whatever he says, and then boom, Vegeta is now Super Saiyan transformation and is ready to fight on Frieza. And Sparky Zero, we're definitely gonna try to map out the dialogue and everything. Try to see how I'm going to create this story to really tie into Vegeta being the one to defeat. I'm, sorry, I'm a Vegeta fanboy. I, I'll admit it. I, I, I'm I a Vegeta fanboy. Vegeta my boy. That's that's my boy. He's been done dirty so many times. I want to give him the chance to defeat Frieza instead of uh, Goku doing it. Because so many times, even in the Golden Frieza Res Resurrection F arc, Vegeta still couldn't do it. Because, you know, he wanted to blow up the planet and then Goku had to come back from time. So, it, it, we're giving Vegeta his shot. You feel me? We're giving Vegeta his sign. He's going to take on Frieza. Of course, we're not going to see the end of the battle until Sparky Zero. But I assume that... Vegeta is going to actually take on Frieza, but then we have a problem because Vegeta wouldn't give birth 
to Trunks. <laughs> Trunks wouldn't exist because Vegeta wouldn't see a point because at that point, he's the strongest Saiyan. Nobody could touch him. Goku's dead. We yada, yada, yada. So that's going to be a very, I think this is going to be a two-parter, you know? I, I, now that I'm actually saying this out loud and finishing the story, I think this is going to be a two-parter where I finish the story in Spark and Zero and then we can kind of continue this story because like, what if Goku is really dead? What if he comes back to fight Vegeta? I don't know. We'll see. It, it's obviously a made-up story, you know? I can make up my own things as I go, but it was kind of cool to see Vegeta actually take off Freeza and it's going to be in a battle of Earth. We're going to do it on the Rocky uh, Rocky Plains or Rocky Mountains area. Um, and yeah, we're going to see how it goes. It's going to be a fun fun battle and trust me Freeza is going to be very powerful and um i'm going to have vegeta and super saiyan but he's again he's not going to be like fully because he just turned so he's going to be like kind of struggling through it uh, a little bit so it's going to be like really basic Super saiyan form uh but yeah that's that's it for today's what if i hope you guys are enjoying all the content i know you hey if you've been seeing the links leaks and everything i know you've seen the leaks and everything i i have avoid i have thankfully avoided most of them i've seen one or two not gonna lie, I seen a Frieza soldier and I seen a spoiler wording, I seen Kaba. So those are the only two spoilers that I saw. And those are one of them was big for me. Kaba was big for me, not gonna lie. But I haven't seen anybody else. So I think that judging by the reactions, it's going to be wicked. So I I I like to I like for you guys to see my reaction. And whenever they drop the new trailer or whatever, I like for you guys to tune in so you guys can see my reaction. I'm probably one of the few who haven't seen it. So it'd be kind of cool for you guys to see somebody who hasn't seen any uh, seen it yet. And somebody was like, bless my soul since I haven't seen it. You know, so good. I have not seen anything. I'm gonna keep it that way. And I think this is actually good. I, as much as I, I, I I'm not lying. As much as I want to go look at the leaks, I think I want to be integral this time. I really wanna really wanna surprise myself with this game. I don't wanna spun myself. So we have a, a few weeks away. If they don't drop the trailer by like next week, I'll probably go ahead and look at the leaks. It's probably gonna be hard to avoid till then anyway. But with all that being said, I'm done with my rambling. This was kind of like a what if story kind of update video for you guys. I hope you guys, are, I know you guys are enjoying my what if videos. I really do appreciate it. It's some of my most engaged uh, videos on the channel right now. And I really, really appreciate it. No matter how many views I get, the viewership and the engagement uh, does matter to a degree. Um, so I do appreciate it. Guys appreciate you guys uh, liking those videos and commenting on those videos i would love for you guys to interact a little bit more and comment some of your favorite like what if stories maybe you could share some of yours in the comments maybe i can even do some in sparking zero and your from your comments we'll see so leave a like in this video subscribe if you're new and we're gonna get on some more sparking zero what if content peace